Hey there folks, Austin Baumgarten here with Keller Williams Realty in Northwest Montana and Hidden Homes Montana LLC. Coming to you on vlog number, I believe, five or six right now, and want to discuss a few things going into the end of October. Um, this is the start of the first quarter, uh, starting October 1st, and so we're going to have some new stats coming out in the next couple months. But I just want to discuss a couple things with you. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of a market uh, summary of the east side of Kalispell and what's going on over there. Also want to talk a little bit about the Conrad Mansion, just because it is the end of uh, the month going into Halloween, and it's kind of a spooky, uh, intriguing place in some way, shape, or form. And then give you some uh, stats on what's going on in the Flathead Valley or some events going on in the Flathead Valley. Um, anyway, I basically looked at the market summary um, or just the market report of what's going on actively in uh, the east side of Kalispell as of right now. And literally there are three homes that are active on the market over on the east side of Kalispell, and that's including the north and the, and the south side. Um, I actually live over on the east side of Kalispell. Um, I live over on Woodland Avenue. Um, it's probably one of my favorite places in the whole valley to be. Uh, it just has a lot of beautiful old mature trees and a lot of the historic district in general. Um, there are some newer houses in there, but there's a lot of remodeled houses from you know the late 1800s and above. Um, and around that, let's talk a little bit about what's going on with the Conrad Mansion because uh, I actually went for a walk over there the other day with my wife. We just kind of walked around the the whole east side and we're playing in the leaves a little bit and and checking out the conrad mansion in general um, and realizing they're having their spooky tours which we'll talk about in a minute i'll tell you when those are um, but a little bit of history of the conrad mansion in general um, so the conrad mansion was built in 1895. Um, it is an entire city block i don't know if anyone's been over there but it's uh, been turned into a museum so it was built in 1895 and has had small renovations throughout it um, but it was originally uh, built by it was what is it uh, Charles and Letty Conrad um, back in 1895 who were some of the first settlers of Kalispell and some of the kind of big business people or at least Charles Conrad at the time was uh, the big business person that came over to the Flathead Valley um, and started a whole bunch of different things um, I'm sure you see the name all over the place but if you've ever been to the Conrad Mansion it's beautiful um, the architecture is outstanding uh, very very um, I would say it was new age as of the time uh, and lots of woodwork in there, beautiful fixtures, um, all the electro, I'm sorry, all the uh, outlets and sorry, the, the lamps and all the, the fixtures were actually, they were gas and electric. Um, but Conrad had his own electric plant, so he usually used the electricity for the property rather than just um, all the gas fixtures and oil. So. Uh, anyway, that's a little bit of history there. I don't know if you knew they had four children. Um, the last child, uh, Alicia Conrad, was actually the one that donated the Conrad Mansion to the city of Kalispell in 1975. And uh, I know that seems pretty current, you know, when it comes down to it. So if you ever have a chance to go take a look at the Conrad Mansion, um, it's got some really, really wild stuff in there. And going into the Halloween season, I do want to let you know, um, I've walked through there and there's like tons of dolls and all these different reflection, reflective uh I don't know, media in there. And so you can kind of, you know, it feels like maybe you'll see a ghost or uh, maybe you'll see a doll move or something like that. And that just creeps me out. So going into Halloween, um, I hope you're not doing too creeped out from me talking to you. But anyway, I uh, wanted to also discuss with you a few things that are going on in the Flathead Valley this upcoming weekend, um, going into Halloween, but also some other productions. So uh, the Alpine Theater Project is doing the Rocky Horror Picture Show right now. And that's all weekend. Um, we also have uh, Keller Williams, my, my business right here. Uh, we are actually doing uh, a trunk or treat in our parking lot. And that's gonna be at 1830 3rd Avenue East here in Kalispell, which is where the clock tower building is. And that'll be tomorrow, Friday night. And that's gonna be from 5.30 to 8 p.m. Um, it is a donation for the warming center. Uh, so please make sure to bring either some canned goods and or some socks or gloves, because um, we're gonna be helping support that. And uh, yeah, I'd love to see you there. It's gonna be a little bit chilly, but we're gonna have all kinds of different trucks and vehicles with trunks full of candy for the kiddos. And it's gonna be a nice, safe environment that's gonna be warm and welcoming. Um, we also have the ghost tours at the Conrad Mansion, which we were just talking about. That's gonna be Thursday the 28th through Friday the 29th. So tonight and tomorrow night. And then we also have the Nate Shoot Foundation is doing a glow run on October 30th, this upcoming Saturday. Um, obviously it's gonna be a nighttime run. It's gonna be super fun. Uh, and that's going to be at the kids complex up towards Costco area. Anyway, folks, 
Hope you're having a great day. Um, I know it's a quick little market summary. Like I said, the east side of Kalispell right now um, has very, very low inventory. It's probably one of the most coveted areas, at least for me, um, in Kalispell in general. Uh, just beautiful, beautiful architecture. And if you have any questions about selling on the east side, I know a lot about it because I've lived there for almost 20 years. Um, please feel free to reach out to me if you need an assessment or anything. But also, with this video, please feel free to like, comment, um, share. I really appreciate it. I'd love to hear your feedback on what I've, I'm saying and if I'm bringing any value to you. Uh, I, I can always take some constructive criticism as well. Hope you folks are having a fabulous day. Have a really, really safe holiday weekend, especially if you're driving up to Whitefish to have a good time. Um, otherwise, Austin Baumgarten with Keller Williams Realty, Northwest Montana, Hidden Homes, Montana, over and out.